So, it has been a very long time. And excuse my jawline right now. I got my wisdom teeth pulled out. Like, I think it's five days ago. Anyways, I got my wisdom teeth pulled out. They're pretty big, but I still wanted to film and get back into the groove of things. I'm hoping to start fresh and anew with this channel. Um, and I'm hoping you guys will enjoy the journey with me. Um, today is kind of like a little behind the scenes, like shop with me. Um, I'm trying to plan a project for the front door. Um, I'll probably insert some pictures in this general area, hopefully. Um, yeah, our front door is pretty bland. There's not um, a ton I can do with the coloring, like paint wise, because we live in a, like a townhouse setting with the HOA. So the color of the door has to stay the same. I can't change the brick, but I love the brick. So I don't want to change that. Um, but I can add some personalization to make it more our family style or my style. Who's doing the decorating? Anyways, so uh, let's get ready. Okay guys, so I had to take a quick breather. Um, we went to Hobby Lobby and Home Depot. I think I got a few clips of Hobby Lobby. Um, I wasn't able to talk because honestly, there was a lot of people and they were doing um, display changes and I didn't want someone to get upset with me call me a baby but yeah that wasn't on my list of things to do but I will show what I got so let me just unload everything and show you okay so I'm gonna first start off with the things I got at Hobby Lobby um, I got this rug just to put under our rug that we wipe our feet on or our shoes not our feet <laughs> um, and then I got this wreath so I have like a little heart um, door decoration but I wanted to add this wreath with some of these floral items um, just to dress it up because it looks kind of boring and like I don't uh, care I guess about what our door looks like which I do and I don't <laughs> um, this is why I'm making this video I got this plant stand um, and I'm gonna figure out a different thing to do with the top um, and then those are things I got for Bailey, not the uh, hydro flask, but I got her like a little play tray with the tea set and some stickers because I can't go any place without buying my girl stickers. Um, I got this. This is a Versa tool. Um, obviously you can see I spent $23 on it. I got this because I ended up getting this, which is like a wood box that you can put plants or other items in so I'm gonna put plants and I got these at Home Depot I got some succulents and then I got uh, some netting for our upstairs patio which is not gonna be in this video and I also got um, a screen replacement for our screen and sorry I forgot I skipped this guy um, I got this just as a little side decoration Yes, I'm sitting on my floor because that is my most favorite thing to do. Um, so I'm first going to start off by taking our front door screen off um, because I would like to replace the screen and uh, spray paint it black. And let's get started. <laughs> So in order 
to have a nice clean surface for my paint to stick to, I just went over the screen with basic soap and water, nothing fancy, and I did this a couple times, I only filmed it once, but I just wanted to make sure that the paint wasn't going to stick to spider webs and dirt and crud, but to the actual frame of the screen. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing here. So after waiting overnight for the screen to dry off completely, I went over it about three times, I want to say, with basic matte black paint. Nothing fancy. This is the Bear brand, and it's literally $5, I want to say. And to be honest with you guys, I kind of messed up. I only had, I think, a can and a half of this, so I had to go back to Home Depot and get another couple cans to finish completing the paint job. <laughs> So that's real life and real life with a mom brain, I guess you could say. The dust over here? Yeah. That's how it is. Just the brick. It's dirty. Oh. Oh, I see. It's always here. It's always here. Hey, where'd you put my... So before I decorated outside, I just wanted to clean up a little bit. There was so many spider webs, it was disgusting, and I am not a friend of any spider. So I just cleaned it all up, and I also cleaned in the light fixture that you see. The one uh, closest to my door is mine and the other one is actually my neighbor's so obviously i'm not going to touch their stuff but um this is just the process i used to end up spray painting um i went through a moment of chickening out because i wasn't sure if our hoa would be okay with me spray painting this but literally two days after i filmed this video i got a letter in the mail saying that the light fixtures are our responsibility. So ironic. So to go with the rest of my all black matte theme, I just spray painted this light fixture, the matte black as well. Sorry if you hear Bailey, she is next to me and she wants to be involved in this video. You wanna say hi? What's your name? Bailey. <laughs> Anyways, so I taped everything off, cleaned off the glass, and then spray painted all the parts that you see black. Okay guys, so while I am waiting for the planter slash sign to dry from staining it and also waiting for the door to dry, um, I'm gonna quickly put this little wreath together. So I literally just got the wooden twig looking wreath and just this, just two sprigs of, it looks like um, either like salvia or lavender. Probably, they probably do lavender because I don't think many people know what salvia is. Anyways, um, but I'm quickly gonna literally make it look like this somewhat like that and that's all I'm gonna do
Okay, so we are now back to the screen. I let this dry for a long time before I even got to this point because I did not want to mess up my nice three coat paint job. Um, I got this screen kit from Home Depot and I wish I would have taken the time to do some measurements before I got this. Um, the screen itself worked great but it was the actual tubing that you end up pushing into the little grooves that did not work so luckily I had saved the tubing from the old screen kit and I just used that with what I had here because as you can see I kept going over the newer tubing and it just was not staying so I just think it was probably a little too small for the screen um, gapping that I had so like I said I used the old one and cut everything to size and it this probably took me a lot longer than it should have because I was struggling so hard to try and use that new tubing which in the end didn't really matter because you can't really tell it still looks nice and new and great. Okay guys, so at this point I'm trying to adjust all my decor in front of this brick and make it look not crowded and everything. And honestly, this took me forever. I don't know what I was doing. Like, I just couldn't get it right in my head. So, I did film this part, but I actually went back and re- designed readjusted everything outside because I still didn't feel like it was working the way I thought it would in my head I had an image and it wasn't fitting that image so I just kept readjusting and that's totally okay when you're designing stuff you want it to flow together and you can always change things around it it's never permanent so I just want to let you guys know that decorating ex is flexible
Okay guys, so I look a hot mess, but it is finished. The front door is finished. Um, I didn't want to film this part outside because I don't want to look like a psycho. But I will show you what the end result looks like in the next clip. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favorite part was of this video. Um, I'd like to do more stuff like this, this and maybe like momming lifestyle. So let me know what you guys wanna see and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.